everybody. Thank you for joining us in here at the Fun Factory tonight. I am so sorry for all of the hiccups with our Zoom call. I think it's because um, my computer just doesn't like Zoom. So here we are at Facebook Live again. I want to welcome you to Kids Tuesday Night Bible Study. I am so super glad to be here with you tonight. Uh, I'd like for you, if you would, to just check in with me um, and let me know that you're here. We have Jillian behind the camera tonight. Jillian, you want to reach forward and wave right over there? Hello. <laughs> and we have Pastor Peterson who's going to come in and out uh, a couple of times maybe while we're having our Bible study tonight. Boy, oh boy, I couldn't have picked a better Bible point for tonight than when life changes. God is good because things have really changed here in the last few minutes. So pop on there. Let us know. Jillian, you just let me know who's coming on. Do you see anybody there right now? Mm -hmm. Who have we got so far? Sister Deborah, Sister Laura, and Mrs. Pete. Awesome. I'm so glad to see all of you guys. I know some of our other friends are quickly switching their technology to come in and join us too. But I want to welcome you here. I was going to reveal to you tonight a different sort of studio set that we had prepared for you. So I guess we'll just have to keep that surprise for next week. There'll be something amazing coming along. While our friends are joining us, I want to ask you, do you have any God sightings? Do you have anything that you've seen God do and anything that you have um, seen him do through you or someone else? If you do, remember to keep sending those in to us. There are some amazing things that are coming in. This morning, Amelia and Emma both sent in God sightings. And also Miss April, one of our Tuesday night leaders, sent in a God sighting. Um, Jillian, are you indicating somebody else has joined us? Um, yes, Sister Laura. All right, that's great. We're just going to move on. As you join us, we want to welcome you here. Today, what my idea was, as I thought about how we were going to do Tuesday night Bible studies, I was thinking about um, looking back at one of our Vacation Bible School Bible points. Now, I've been thinking that we all really love Vacation Bible School, don't we? I know I do. I think that you do too, right? Um, when I was thinking about what we were going to do for Tuesday night Bible studies, I thought, let's go back to some of our VBS Bible points. Now, we love VBS because we have a lot of fun together. We laugh together a lot. But it's not only about the fun and laughter. It's about learning truths from God's Word. And we learn that so that we can have it hidden in our hearts. Now, I hope you have your Bible. Did you bring your Bible to Bible study tonight? Let me see. Come on. Let me see. And you should have your Jesus journal with you as well. If you've started one of those, if you haven't, you're going to want a pen or a pencil, something to write with, and some paper. And um, also maybe your Watch for God band if you have one, because that will remind you to think about through the night what your God sightings are. So. While I'm waiting for you to get your Bibles, I'm going to open up my Bible to close to the middle. Jillian, who's here with us tonight? Don't touch the screen because you'll move the, the camera, okay? Just tell me what you can see. Um, I see Sister Cheryl, Sister Lewin, and Sister Mary, and Miss Anna. All right. Well, we are glad to have all of you with us. Okay, does everybody have their Bible? Would you open up to Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16? Now, again, like I told you on Sunday, I'm reading from the New Living Translation. Maybe if your Bible's a different translation, it will sound a little different, but it's still the truth of God's Word, just said with different words sometimes. Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 16 says, When I discovered your words... I devoured them. That means I ate them up. Do you ever get really hungry? This afternoon while I was studying for Bible study and doing some things, my daughter Jillian was baking a cake 
and through the whole house I could smell the cake. Pastor Peterson, you could smell it too, right? Oh, I was so hungry. Oh, we were getting so hungry. I texted Jillian because I didn't want to go down to the kitchen and touch her delicious looking cake. So I texted her from upstairs in the house and I said, you're making me hungry. But it smelled so delicious. Do you ever get hungry for something and you just can't wait to sink your teeth into it? And when you get to it, you don't just take a little teeny bite. You eat the whole thing as fast as you can. I think I might have done that with the cake this afternoon, but it wasn't for me. It's for somebody else. But it says in Jeremiah 15, verse 16, when I discovered your words, I devoured them. I ate them up. They are joy, my joy, and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, O Lord of heaven's armies. We have God's word in our hearts, so we know that we can live the way that he wants us to. So as I was thinking about what to talk about tonight, I remembered the things that we have learned. And I thought that we should talk about how we can use what we've learned at Vacation Bible School to help us right now. It's important, you know. We don't just learn the things so that we can have lots of learning. We learn them and then we use them for everyday living. This is one of the times, I think, in our lives that we're going to learn how to take the truth that we've learned and use it in the time that we are living right now. God wants us to do that. The verse that we read from Jeremiah chapter 15 says that God's word, the Bible, gives us joy and delight. That's great happiness. Lots and lots of happiness. And it also says that we are God's. We are his children. We are alive for a very special reason. Right now, at this point in history, every one of us has a purpose given by God. And our purpose is to tell the world that he is alive and he is real and he is good. Now, the truth is that sometimes things don't always feel good. Maybe you or somebody that you know is having a tough time right now. There has been a lot of change for all of us recently, don't you think? There's been lots of things that are different now that have changed recently that we couldn't control. It's okay when things change. It really is. Even though we don't always feel like things are good, we know that God is always good. Now there's a song that I want to share with you on Facebook later tonight. I'll put it up. You might not have a chance to listen to it tonight, so maybe when you get up in the morning, you can ask your mom and dad to help you find that song on this Facebook page so that you can listen to it. The song is called Good in Every Way. And it says in one part, come on now, join with me. Everybody sing. I'm going to lift my voice to glorify my king. He is a mighty God, and he's worthy of all praise. Our God is always good, and he always is deserving of our praise. So look for that song coming up on Facebook. It will be posted later today, and you can either listen to it today or tomorrow. Maybe you're singing it in your mind right now because you can remember it from Vacation Bible School. You know, the words of that song remind me about our Bible point from day three of Vacation Bible School last year, Roar VBS. At Roar, we learned that life is wild, but God is good. Do you remember? And our friend Marge on day three helped us to learn that when life changes, God is good. So you're going to say that God is good part with me because you believe it just like I do, right? Marge helped us to learn on day three of Roar VBS that when life changes, God is good. Hold on just one minute. I am not the only person in this room. There's Jillian behind the camera, and there's Pastor Peterson over here on my right-hand side. And I only heard me say, God is good. Did you hear anybody else say it? No, I didn't think so. You know why? Because they didn't say it. Should we do it again? Yeah, okay. Are you ready, Pastor Peterson? I am ready. Are you ready, Miss Jillian? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we're all going to say together that when life changes, God, God is good. good. Amen. Now, I want to read something to you tonight. This was something that we read at Roar VBS, but it's good for us to go back and remember some of these things. You may or may not remember it. It was found in your Roar Some More book. Now, if you have your Roar Some More book, don't go get it right now, but you can look at it later. The story that I'm going to read is called The Winds of Change. As I read, I want you to see if you can think of who it might be that is telling the story. And who is the author, the one telling the story? Who is that author talking about? Okay, it says here, freedom. We packed up our things, raised our fists in the air, and hurried straight out of Egypt. With my brother Moses as our faithful hero and God, there's a clue, brother Moses. With my brother Moses as our faithful hero and God, our mighty king, we began a fresh start. We had been slaves, you see, but now we were free. There's a change. You know, but with our freedom came lots of changes. Instead of homes, kitchens, and beds, we moved day after day. Every day they moved through a stark land of rocks and sand. We couldn't help wondering if we'd made the right choice. We had barely escaped from Pharaoh when we found ourselves trapped. The massive Red Sea in front of us and Pharaoh's army right behind us. Yikes! But God rescued us yet again. Moses stretched out his hand, the winds roared, and the sea split in two. We raced across on dry land, and when we were safe on the other side, God filled the sea back up, swallowing Pharaoh's entire army. God is good! I picked up my tambourine, I started dancing, and I led the people in a song of victory. Now, on to the promised land. But the journey got tough. There wasn't much to eat or drink in that hot, dry wasteland. It didn't take long for our people to start complaining. They grumbled and mumbled and moaned to Moses. What are we going to drink? They whined. We traveled for three days Three days without finding any water. Can you imagine three days without any water? And when we came to the oasis at Mara, the water was too bitter to drink. These were not the changes we were hoping for. This is not how we wanted it to be. Yet, God was good. God told Moses to toss a piece of wood into the water, and it instantly became good and fresh. Finally, we had plenty to drink. We traveled on, and the complaining continued. We're going to starve out here in the wilderness. We should have stayed in Egypt. We had plenty of food there. But God showed his goodness. Every evening, he sent quails for us to roast and eat, and every morning, he covered the ground with a strange sort of bread. Do you remember what it was called? What is it? The people asked when they saw it. Moses told them, it's bread from heaven. It tasted like honey wafers. Not too bad. What did the Israelites call it? Yes, they called it manna. So that's how we ate every day, says the author. At night, God delivered quails for us to eat, and every morning the manna appeared on the ground. We gathered just enough for our families to eat for one day, and we never went hungry again. God is so good. The actual story of these people that I have read to you about tonight is found in Exodus chapter 14 through chapter 17. So later on today, you can go look at that, or even tomorrow, if you have your Jesus journal or some paper that you can write on right now, you write today's date, 
and that you're at Kids Bible Study, write down Exodus 14 through 17 so that you remember to go look at that later. Wow, the Israelites really went through so many changes. They definitely learned that when life changes, God is good. I want to tell you something. If you're going through a hard time right now because of all the change in your life, especially if it feels hard to you, please remember today's Bible story. God is with you. He will never leave you. And God is always good. Even when life changes, God is good. God heard and helped the Israelites even when they complained. He hears us even when we complain too. God will hear and help us every time. God has a really good plan for your life. Now we looked in the book of Jeremiah a minute ago and I want to look again in Jeremiah but a little further along to read a verse to you that says to you it's not my words that say God has a good plan. It's the Bible which is God's word. Can you turn over to Jeremiah chapter 29? And we're going to look at Jeremiah 29 verse 11. You ready? Let's read it together. For I know, this is God speaking, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Those are God's words to you and to me. He is good to us all the time. He never leaves us. He will never walk away from us. He is always good. Even when life changes, God is good. Now, right now, you might feel a little bit like your life was going along fine. You were happy. You had everything that you needed. You were floating along with a smile on your face. Be like my friend here. Can you see my friend? Can you see my friend? Yes. Okay. So, you know, my friend is just floating here happy with a smile on her face. She looks very happy, right? Mm hmm. She's not expecting anything to change. Just like maybe we were not expecting a couple of weeks ago for things to start changing for us, but all of a sudden, things start changing. Maybe they started changing for you and her at the same time. Can you imagine that this might be how you felt, happy and floating along, and then things just started to change and change and change and change and change, and every time the word change came to her. She just wasn't so floaty anymore. She wasn't able to get back up and be like it had been before. Change, change, change. It knocked her down every time it came. Do you know what? Even though change came and knocked my balloon friend here down, she was only down a little bit. She is still able to float in the air now. Do you know how she's able to float and stay in place right now? I'll show you. She has a weight that she is tied to that helps her stand in place. This makes me think about where the Bible teaches us that our feet are, it says in the scripture, planted on the solid rock. That means that Jesus Christ, the solid rock, is a sure and safe place for us to stand. And Jesus never moves out of our lives. And we can stand secure even when change comes and it might knock us down a little bit. It's not going to keep us down because we are secure on that solid rock, Jesus Christ. When things get hard, 
and things get out of control that we think we can't control them, we can remember that God is still in control. When we don't understand what's going on, it's okay. Sometimes in life, things look a little darker than other times. Sometimes they don't look so easy to us. And maybe we're not sure what's going to happen because there's so much change. But even when things get wild and when they get hard and they feel out of control, we can hold tightly to God. He is our very good God and he never changes. Life changes sometimes, but when life changes, God is good. It might get dark and maybe it looks all black. See, this is a yellow balloon over here, so nice and bright with a smile. This one's not so pretty looking, is it? It's dark and it doesn't look so interesting and inviting. And maybe life has gone for us from being like this, that we're full of smiles, to like this, where all we can see is the change that maybe for some of us looks dark. But we can remember that when life changes, God is good. And he brings joy into our lives. He is with us all the time. Do I have confetti all over me now? I wish you were here so you could have it all over you too. Because this can make us think of the goodness of God with us wherever we are, no matter what's going on. We're going to say goodbye in just a moment, but before we do, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come here tonight. Thank you for rolling with the change of we were going to meet by Zoom and that wasn't working, so we quickly switched to come over here to Facebook Live. It's always such a joy to be together with you so that we can learn together about God's plans for us. As we close tonight, I want to give you a little bit of a challenge. Take some time between now, around about 6.30, until 7 o'clock when family Bible study will start with Pastor Peterson. And I sure hope that you're going to be there for Bible study. It would be great to see you on the other side of the screen tonight. Take some time in these next few minutes to think about the things that God has done for you that are so good. It's easy right now to think of all of the things that are different in a bad way or in a different way that we don't like. But there are many good things that God has given to me and many good things that God has given to you even in this time of change. God never leaves us. He's with us all the time. We should write down those things in our Jesus journals that we remember God has done for us. And then maybe, like I encouraged us to do on Sunday, if we get worried or we get overcome with how much is changing, we can turn those sad and not good feelings into a choice to praise God. Or actually today, instead of just putting up one song on Facebook, I'm going to put up two songs on Facebook. The other one is also from Roar, Roar VBS and it's called Thankful. And some of the words say, I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all of your goodness to us. God, when life changes, you never change. You are good. And we want to thank you that you are with us right now and we can have great joy and delight. Help us to remember, God, that all of the things that we have learned are for this time. It's time for us to remember the word of God that is in our hearts. It's time for us to use those things that we've learned not just to remember them for a week of vacation Bible school or for a day here or there, but right now today, we're choosing to remember, oh God, that you are good all the time. And Lord, you are with us in these days. We thank you that you have given us life on purpose right now, not just so that we might do well in life, Lord, 
and we might know that you are with us, but help us, God, to be able to speak to other people about your goodness, to declare your goodness, and to speak of your faithfulness, O oh God. Help us, Lord, to reach out to others during this time, to help them to learn that even when life looks dark and it looks gloomy and we're not sure which way to go, you always have a good plan and we are held within your hand. Thank you, Father, for the time that we could meet together and for the way that we could meet together too. Oh God, we ask you that you will help us to think about these things. And Lord, as we come together again, we would have many God sightings to share about all that you have done. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> I have one more verse that I want to read to you tonight as we close out. <clears throat> it is found, if you want to look it up, in the book of Psalms. I have to get all the confetti off of my books. So if you have your Bible right there, turn quickly to the book of Psalms. And we are going to look at Psalm 106 verse 1. Now I want to give you a challenge to see if you can memorize this verse before next Tuesday night kids Bible study. Hopefully that night we'll be able to meet on Zoom together and you can say the verse with me. As I learn it and you learn it we'll be ready to say it next week. The verse says praise the Lord. There are lots of reasons to praise him. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. As we get ready to close out our Facebook Live tonight, I want to remind you that God's faithful love endures. It stays forever. I'll see you in a few minutes over in Family Bible Study. Good night.